As we've been hearing, junior doctors have begun the first of three days of strike, so the pay and conditions, including here in the capital east, are just some of them. Thousands of planned procedures have been cancelled and appointments postponed, but patients are being reassured that emergency care is still available. More from our health correspondent, Carl Mercer. One, two, three, four, five. It's becoming a very familiar scene. Another picket line outside another London hospital. This time, junior doctors walking out this morning at the start of their three-day strike. It means thousands of operations across the capital have been postponed and thousands of appointments rescheduled as the focus of London's hospitals turns to providing emergency care. The dispute is over paying conditions. The junior doctors say their wages haven't gone up in real terms since 2008. The government has called their wage demands unaffordable. I adore my job. I love working with women and pregnant people, but it is a really hard job. Um, I'm still going to be working more than 37 hours this week, even though I'm striking for three days. Um, and I think that it's fair that we ask to be paid um, a, a wage that matches our skill set. I don't think any of these doctors here today are worth less than they were in 2008. And that's why our demand is simple. We're not asking for a pay rise. We're asking for our pay to be restored. <laughs> NHS bosses say this latest walkout will be the hardest to deal with so far. Here at King's College Hospital alone, they've cancelled 1,100 procedures and more than 3,000 outpatient appointments over the next three days. Well, I would say that of all industrial actions to date, the, we are most concerned about this. Yes, I would say so. I mean, as you know, there's no derogation. The 72 hours of strike action is through the night. Um, we rely very heavily on our junior doctors. They do a great, great job across the NHS. Um, so, but... But yes, I think there is a real risk of, uh, of a serious impact, but we are doing all we can to, to keep patients safe. Back in January, it was nurses on strike outside King's. Their union is now in talks with the government. The doctors' union, the BMA, rejected an offer of talks last week, saying there were unacceptable preconditions. I run a hospital, I run a group of hospitals. I don't want to get involved in what level of uh, deals should or shouldn't be uh, awarded to different groups of staff. That's not my job, that's not my responsibility. What is my responsibility is to ensure that my staff, my colleagues, are awarded properly for what they do. And I would encourage the government to sit around the table with the relevant parties to ensure that happens. Do you think they are properly rewarded for what they do? No, I don't think they are. It is not, though, a dispute he has the power to solve. That will need agreement between the junior doctors and the government. Carl Mercer, BBC London.